What is going on, you guys? It is your boy, MC here, and I am back with Mob Psycho Season 2, Episode 5. Honestly, a really shocking ending and just... Just a question of where are we honestly going to go from here and what's the rest of like the next couple episodes going to look like. And if you guys didn't see yesterday's episode, oh my god, Mogami with an introduction, possibly one of the best introductions of this show so far with an antagonist. Um, He is really intimidating, really intimidating and just everything that he had to offer last episode was just absolutely insane. He let Mob into his body and Mob thought honestly he was going to like just completely beat him no he let him beat him he th he made mob think he beat him but no he really kind of now thinking about what he was saying he was basically saying that negative emotions are obviously stronger than positive emotions so he's basically saying that maybe mob can change the way he views life and if he could view it in a different way he would become, uh, become stronger probably a more stronger psychic even though he's probably already the strongest out of everybody Except when Mogami came up here. So yeah, I have no idea how this episode or just future episodes are going to go. I am so far really digging this antagonist. And yeah, I just, I don't know what's going to happen in this episode. Just honestly kind of speechless. I want to get straight into it. And I just honestly can't wait. If you guys are new to the channel, like my reaction, like, subscribe, comment down below. And if you guys want to be notified on when we release those videos, definitely smash the notification bell. But with that being said, let's get right into the episode. I really love how this looks. What do you think? <laughs> so what's his story? Token loser? Who knows? I never really thought about him. Yeah, he's barely noticeable. Hmm. Is that so? Everybody here is an accurate representation of actual people from the real world. So what you're experiencing is a parallel world that could have easily come to pass had your circumstances been slightly different. I'll just sit back and observe how you fare in this environment without your powers. You don't know, huh? Don't give me that. Are my lessons that boring for you? You can remain standing. Jesus Christ. I don't think a teacher would ever slap a student across the face. Ritsu. This is a time where Ritsu's not saving him. God. Your extremely talented brother is just a stranger here. I've noticed that you tend to refrain from using your powers in your personal life. I assume you're trying to become a better person by focusing on your social skills rather than your abilities. How very noble of you. But only the fortunate in life would even have that idea. Shows how lightly you take the real world. It'd be so much easier if I were stronger. Mm. Here, I got some milk for you. Oh, wait, I thought I heard you say that you loved milk. Isn't this what you meant? Ew, you totally reek. <laughs> All right, settle down. And God, Mob is just, this is torture for him. Anxiety, fear, rage. All the negative emotions are welling up inside you. But after living in this world for six months without your powers, I'd say that's Jesus Christ. You kept telling yourself you mustn't misuse your abilities. I could see spirits since the day I was born. I even had the power to exorcise them. At first, I used my abilities for good, giving advice and solving various problems. But my mother developed a mysterious illness. The fees for her treatment were beyond obscene. Eventually... I started taking underground jobs to make ends meet. And In I order to help her. Money. Despite all that, my mother still died. The cause remained unclear to the end, and there was nothing anyone could do. But then I found out the truth. After her death, my mother became an evil spirit and said, You did this to me. It's all your fault. Oh. The deeds I committed to help pay the bills brought evil around me. And that's what ended up plaguing her. Huh. I should have doubted my way of life. How I was being used by others. Suicide by hanging. Yeah, of course. I decided to use my powers for myself this time and change the world. What a crazy backstory. Misery and misfortune to others and punished them. 
Holy shit. Wow, this character is incredible. Holy shit. So, what the hell are you doing? Don't you know that feeding strays is a disservice to the public? What are you gonna do about it? Nothing, I guess. Really? That poor thing. In that case, the cat's probably better off dead than alive. I'll just drop it off at a shelter. Don't. I'll, keep, I'll take care of it. Look. God damn it. Uh. So it's obviously happening inside is what's going to happen outside. You got to accept that. Okay, I've changed my mind. I'm staying behind as well. Good. Let's wait this out. Let's wait this out. Oh, no. Waiting's not going to bring him back. Guess I'll have to find a way to take care of this one myself. What the hell's going to happen now? Enraged? Do you hate them? Do you despise them? They are a cancer to society. Stop letting them use you however they choose. Let yourself be reborn as my sympathizer. I shall give you strength. Make your negative emotions explode and then use them against the entire world! Oh no! Oh my god! I'm having a hard time getting in. Shigeo actually got through this shield, damn it! That's what Shigeo would have had it gone through if he would have let him, if he wasn't actually letting him through. What do you know? Looks like it works. You owe me one now that I've helped you. Huh, Matsuo. What's with you all of a sudden? You, you better stay away from me or I'll have Papa's bodyguard beat the crap out of you. Mob, oh um. You're pretty far gone. Do you know who I am? What the heck is this thing? Or that? Aha! What you're spying? Damn you for actually falling for these illusions. Fine. I'll have to use all the spiritual power I've stocked up, but time for shock therapy! Oh, man! What? Is he? Oh, hey, Mom. <laughs> he caught him from the outside. Your master needs your help, so shake a leg. Shake a leg. Don't let Mokami mess with your head like that. You've always stuck to your values, even when you fought Hanazawa. That's right. I shouldn't use these powers against other people. There you go. Why are you losing to a bunch of common street thugs? Aren't you in the Body Improvement Club? What happened to all those muscles you've been building He's been... up? Look, I don't know how much oh my time you've spent in this lousy excuse for a world. But this isn't like you. Do you want your beloved Supomi to hate your guts? <laughs> Was that the thing that really... Well done, kid. Hey, bro. What's up? Yeah, he remembers everything. He's coming back. Now that's a bit much. Now nah, that's a bit much. He's back. I remember now. There you go. You remember me too, don't you? We're partners. No, it doesn't really ring a bell. Oh, 
<laughs> Hell yeah. Oh boy. Wow, what a crazy sequence. We're in 99. Oh boy. A spiritual mutation. What? Oh boy. <laughs> oh, oh, you have no idea. Him. Damn. Oh shit! The animation for this is crazy, man. Minori. That's right. I remember now. I came here to save someone. Hell yeah, you did. Let's do it. I always thought these powers were trivial. That they were no good to anybody. Yeah! Oh, let's go! It doesn't matter what you do. You can never just save Oh, shit. You know, when this music kicks, we're about to see some crazy shit. Oh, man. Woohoo! I'll be damned. I'll be damned. It's not over yet, I don't think. Not by a long shot. Yeah, no shit. Whoa. Mogami had made the mistake of overlooking something that lay dormant within Bob. Hearts are made up of two sides. Just as happiness gleams in the shadows of sorrow, only in the darkest depths of fear does courage truly shine. Oh my God. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh my god! Damn! The powerful blast created from Mob's positive emotions at 100% annihilated the great and powerful evil spirit Mogami. Or at least, that's how it looked. Oh my god. Now that they've lost me, their vessel, all of the evil spirits I've taken in and controlled will be freed into the universe. Oh but no. Not even I can stop them anymore. Shigeo! Dippo! Get out of here! I'm gonna be alright! Just leave me! Really? You sure about that? <laughs> Damn! Let's go, Mom! <laughs> to 
save Minori and exorcise these guys before I go. I'll be back, I promise. Don't worry. Uh oh. You want to eat me too? Fine. Catch me if you can, you bastards. He can lead some of them out of the way. A little bit. <laughs> oh! There you go. Holy shit. Everything I can see is a spirit. And I have to cast them all out. This is without a doubt the best animation so far in the series. Oh my god. You struggle. Your path will lead you to the same place mine did. To ruin. Uh oh. Damn. It stopped it a little bit. And it did. Maybe. What the fuck am I watching? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? You're right! <laughs> oh my god. What in the absolute hell? Holy shit. <laughs> Master, how's Minori? Well, if you're awake, then me. She must be awake. He's still... You've made your choice, kid. I'll keep watching from afar. See if you pick the right one. Oh, my God. Oh, Matsuo! You have my thanks. Isn't that... Oh, I didn't even realize he was here. <laughs> yeah, of course. Matsuo capturing Mogu. What the? Now that was unexpected. I wasn't expecting that. Welcome back, Minori. That was weird. That was hella weird. Oh my god. was a boy in the same grade as you. Yeah, why do you ask? Well, there wasn't a middle school student among the people that I hired. Huh? He wasn't even asked to be there. Mm -hmm. But somehow he managed to cast out an evil spirit that nobody else could, and then left without saying a word. That's so cool. I hope I can see him again. I've been digging around online, and after a bit of research, this caught my eye. Oh, I found that. Yeah, that is the juiciest burger I've ever seen. Just look at how many people got hurt. Not exactly a 
great success. <sighs> you should never accept money that you feel you haven't earned. If you do, you'll start taking the easy way out every time. You True, just Reagan. Response? That's not it, moron. <laughs> History has shown us that no good ever comes out of drowning in wealth, fame, or power. Think about it. Mogami let his own power swallow him up, too. You know, you're better off working part-time for me than becoming famous or powerful. I hope this serves as a good lesson. <laughs> Come on, give me a friggin'. Oh, man. All right. Skeptical on a lot of things going into this episode. Obviously, how would Mob do in this world that obviously Mogami was showing him? And how would he, like, like would hit honestly fully change him? This is the number one question going in. And it did, but it did for the right reasons. So, overall, just how everything looked, and especially just, like, the change of animation looked really, really beautiful. I love how overall it was animated, it was done how it was illustrated, just everything. I loved the entire world when, like, when Mob was in that world. I love how it looked and everything. And just the storytelling and everything was so gravitating towards especially Mob as a character because you've known how he's been. You know him as a character. And you're seeing him go through situations that are definitely looked at at a different light in a different way by someone that is obviously controlling you and putting you in this situation. So it is really, you're put in a really difficult situation where you're literally on the edge of changing for the worse and just overall changing who you really are. And I'm so glad that Mob was able to not only learn some stuff for the better or whatever, but just overall not give in to Mogami's ways. So I overall love that. I honestly think this is probably one of the best episodes in the series. And I think everybody could probably agree with me. Koyama and Mob was definitely my top favorite fight so far on the show. With this fight, um, this fight was kind of different. I'm not going to say if it was better or not because I... Because we only got probably like, what, two, three weeks of this show left. So I really kind of want to just... Like, virtually at the end, I want to know kind of what my favorite fight is after. I just want to think about it more. But when I'm really thinking about this fight and thinking about the animation, I mean, obviously animation, I'm not even going to say anything because you guys already know what the hell I'm going to say. I've been saying it for God knows how long. But how the fight was done, it was really insane. And just you're trying to gravitate what in the world or you're trying to grasp like what the hell is going on. And you're just sitting here watching like absolutely incredible animation. You're just literally like, what am I watching? What am I watching right now? And it's absolutely insane. It's absolutely insane. It's absolutely beautiful. And it was just, I don't, I don't really know how else to put it. I really just don't know. I think the only thing else that I would say, I was not expecting Matsuo to kind of capture Mogami. I was definitely not expecting that. Maybe it will cut. Like I, I, I can really assume that, uh, I mean, maybe I'll be wrong. I don't know. But I'm just assuming that this isn't probably going to be the last time we're going to see Mogami. I really think that he had a pretty, like, really dominating presence from, especially from the last episode and how he introduced himself. So I'd be kind of surprised if they kind of put this character on the shelf. And I was honestly really surprised once again, even from the last episode, that Matsuo was even here because we really haven't seen any of the other 7th Division members. We haven't seen Sakurai. We haven't seen... Just anybody else. Sakurai is just the first thing that comes up in my head. But I'm really surprised that Matsuo was really in, like, really in this kind of situation when everything kind of happened. So, I don't know. Maybe something happens further in a couple episodes. Maybe Matsuo escapes. I don't, or not, not Matsuo. Uh, maybe Mogami escapes. I don't really know. But yeah, man, just this episode was absolutely insane. I loved everything about this episode. And what could I say about Mob that is, I have already been saying for the last probably what four weeks now three four weeks i absolutely love this character i think he's an adorable and sweet protagonist he's definitely probably honestly one of my favorites like he's definitely one of my favorite he's definitely in my top five with top like in my top five of protagonists and i i, I just i love mob that's all that's what i'm gonna end it with i love mob so Going into episode six, obviously tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching my reaction. You guys are excited for the rest of Mob Psycho. And you guys like the channel, like, subscribe, comment down below. And as always, my name is Omzi and I am out.